What's up guys, Ram Fizzle here. Now I was going to do a playthrough of Gotham City Imposters for you guys. You know, that game where you play as one of the self-appointed Batman deputies or the fun-loving Junior Jokers. You know, big old Gotham-style gang fight with batarangs and gas bombs. And yes, I know the game came out two years ago, but I didn't have a Windows computer two years ago. I had a MacBook. Now I have a Windows computer and I thought it would be fun to finally play, but you see I downloaded it free on Steam. Loaded it up to try it out and see how I need to have my setup with my recording software. But lo and behold, I come to find that this game blows big, scaly Killer Croc dong. With the art style and the legitimate Batman license, I was expecting something similar to, but also unique from and possibly better than, say, Loadout. But no, what I played was a cheap Call of Duty ripoff with some poorly executed and not to mention impossible to control novelty mechanics, such as the grappling hook, roller skates, and the glider. Dear God, the glider. <laughs> <laughs> the gameplay is annoyingly similar to COD, accompanied by some badly voiced Joker laughs. <laughs> there is at least quite a few options as far as customization when it comes to your weapons, support items, and even costume that could give you a reason to hang around for more than one match, but unfortunately, fun customization doesn't mean much in a game that plays worse than Baking Simulator 2014. The only good thing I can say about this game is the artwork. This is the thing that got me so excited about this game. I'm a new school tattoo artist, so this Dark Looney Tunes thing is right up my alley, and I'm a huge fan of over-the-top, theatrical, DIY, urban decay artwork. And pairing that with a couple of gangs that model themselves after the Dark Knight and the Clown Prince of Crime just sounds like a, it sounds and looks like a match made in heaven. Unfortunately, the game itself feels like I'm wrapped in a straitjacket in Arkham. So it may look appealing to you if you're looking through Steam's free to play list, but just remember that whatever you think this game is going to give you, you're going to get from Loadout or Call of Duty better. I've been Rain Fizzle. You guys have been awesome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Throw me a thumbs up. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.